Hello, this is Jerry Ozog. I'm the Executive Director of the Pennsylvania Fire and Emergency Services Institute. We have some important work for you to do back in your community. I would like you to take some time and take action. I need you to contact your Senator in regards to important SR6 related legislation that will help your fire and emergency services organization. Please take about 10 minutes and watch the attached video and take action. Thank you very much. Greetings from the Pennsylvania Fire and Emergency Services Institute. We are pleased to provide you the January 2020 Legislative Action Plan. It is extremely important for you to meet with your Senator within the next several weeks as important legislation is currently being scheduled and will be voted on soon. PFESI is a nonprofit for emergency services. Our mission is to cultivate relationships and promote legislation at all levels of government. We are a resource to fire and emergency services across the Commonwealth. We provide facilitation and education. Our motto, one vision, one voice. We're here to work for you and with you to make a difference. It's important for you to understand the importance of voting and engaging in your community. Additionally, we ask you to help financially support PFESI. This important document, SR6, has increased awareness throughout the Commonwealth. This is very significant. Members of the General Assembly, statewide organizations, local government, and fire and EMS organizations has used SR6 to continue and begin conversations to improve and sustain emergency services in the community. The, the efforts that have come out of SR6 in the House and Senate bills that are currently in the legislative process are designed to improve portions of emergency services across Pennsylvania. What I'd like to do to you right now is to talk about some success. So far, Act 106 of 2019 was the first SR6 related bill that was passed into a law. SB 146 provides and directs the Office of State Fire Commissioner to develop online training for firefighters. The Office of the State Fire Commissioner and the State Fire Academy is currently working on implementation. We are at a significant time in Pennsylvania, and it's important for you to understand that it is time for you to become active and meet with your senator in the district office or communicate with them via email, telephone, or a letter. In the fall of 2019, the Pennsylvania House of Representatives moved a significant package of SR6 bills out of committee into the House floor, and then passed those bills and sent them to the Senate. These House bills have been sent to various Senate committees for consideration. These committees will have to vote on these bills, and then the bills will be voted on by the full Senate. The Senate also has some existing legislation uh, and proposed legislation in their chamber that needs to be voted on. This is the current bills that are in the Senate Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee. I'm not going to go in and read every single one of them. I'm going to have a link uh, that you can print the information uh, and then read it and use it to speak to your senator. As you can see, it deals with a variety of different things. These bills are currently in the Senate Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee. Additional bills are in the Senate Finance Committee. And then there's bills that have passed through committee that are ready to be voted on by the Senate. And this is we, where we need to target the Senate leadership and discuss these bills. We have S Bill SB 94, SB 331, SB 308, and SB 910, which author reauthorizes the very popular grant program. Other committees, uh, there are several bills in other committees in the Senate. And again, you could read on our document once you download it and take a look at it exactly what these, uh, these bills are. As you can see, there's a significant amount of legislation 
that directly uh, address issues facing fire and emergency services in Pennsylvania. There's also several co-sponsorship memos where these are memos that are being circulated amongst the members of the Senate uh, that will uh, eventually turn into a bill. So I just wanted to make sure and have, uh, have you aware of these bills, so uh, these co-sponsorship memos, so you understand uh, that there is additional movement behind the scenes. So what do we need you to do? There's two things that we need you to do. Uh, the bulk of the SR6 bills have been sent, again, to the two committees, Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness. We would like all members of the Pennsylvania Fire and Emergency Services to contact their uh, local senator, okay, and I'll show you how to do that, uh, and ask them to uh, consider these important pieces of legislation. We also need you to contact members of the Senate leadership uh, and ask that these pieces uh, of legislation be considered, as well as other uh, legislation that may come up. This is your time to advocate for yourself and for your organization. So what we need you to do is the following. You need to set up a meeting in the district office. Direct engagement is the most important thing. Direct engagement. Set up a meeting, and how do you find your senator? And what we'd like to do is uh, you just, you'll have this presentation, and you click on this link. And uh, it directly leads you to this website. And, for example, if you uh, live in uh, Indiana County, you will click on the county. You can go to the municipal uh, area that you live in. And you go across and you could click on where it says PA Senator and it lists the Senator and the important contact information. And the Senator here, Senator Joe Pittman has a Harrisburg office, an office in Indiana, an office in Catanning and an office in Murraysville. And you could see there's a Google map that outlines the district. So it's very simple and not very hard uh, for you to find out who is your senator. So what we'd like you to do, uh, again, is set up a meeting, a 30-minute meeting, and the purpose of the meeting is the following. We want you to talk about your emergency services organization and then ask for support of the current SR6 bills. When you go to the meeting, it's what I always like to talk about is the elevator speech. You want to be prepared for the meeting. Arrive on time and in uniform or professional dress. Talk about the good things that your fire and emergency service organization is doing. Explain what you do for the community, the services that you provide. Engine company, rescue company, if you have an ambulance, if you do any type of specialized rescue. Know the population and square miles in your coverage area. Talk about any specific or special hazards, if you have a, a park, if you have um, a hospital, those type of things. Talk about how many calls and what type of calls that you go on. How many active members you have and volunteers. Talk about your budget. Talk about your strengths of your organization. And talk about your challenges. It's important to talk about your challenges. And then ask them to support the SR6 efforts that are in Harrisburg. It's important for you, again, to be engaged at the local level. So here's the messaging. I did review uh, the uh, documents with you uh, and, and the bills, but in this slide, you'll see you could click on that, and it will bring up a downloadable list of what we want you to talk about in the meeting. Okay, what we want you to talk about in the meeting. Again, it lists the different uh, bills that are in the Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee. It also lists the different bills that are in uh, the Finance Committee and what we want you to talk with Senate leadership about. So again, extremely important information. Uh, we also, again, have a legislative contact list on who the key players are that we want you to talk with. So you would click on that uh, Senate uh, legislative contact list. Who they are is the following. Here's the list of uh, Senate Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee members. Again, if you live in the district of these people, uh, set up a meeting and talk with them. It's extremely important. Here's the list of the Finance Committee. 
Here's a list of Senate leadership. And what do we want you to do when this is all over? Uh, when you meet with the senator, after you're done, take a picture uh, with you and, and uh, the member uh, and or the staff member. Post it on social media of your fire department or EMS unit that you are advocating for help from Harrisburg, that you're working in Harrisburg, that you want to, uh, you want to see positive changes. And then send that to the PFESI Facebook page. As you can see, there's how to link to the PFESI Facebook page. And then also send me a message that you have met with your senator. It's extremely important that we have we close the loop whenever we do a request. PFESI is working with many statewide organizations. And with one vision and one voice, we could make a difference in Pennsylvania. This is a historic opportunity. There's been a lot of effort behind the scenes. We know that there are challenges all over the Commonwealth but together we can make a difference. If you ever need any assistance or any questions, please do not hesitate to call me or send me an email. My phone number is on the slide. You can catch me on social media. We certainly thank and appreciate everything that you do every day for the fire and emergency services organizations in Pennsylvania. Thank you very much.